I'm going to be talking to Dave Smith from DJS Process Consulting and his business works with clients to help them develop products so they use less energy and are more cost effective. So Dave, uh, welcome to the Lingman, welcome to North of Time. Thank you. Uh, so tell me a little bit about how you've engaged with us with this innovation recovery grant. Yeah, so DJS Process Consulting is a consultancy and engineering services company. We've got people in the team with skills ranging from consumer research right through to detailed engineering. We work in the field of consumer products, broadly speaking. So when we talk about innovation, people often have this view that it's people in white lab coats putting things in and out of test tubes. What's innovation really? Well, innovation is really about turning invention or ideas into useful reality. And at DJS, that's what we're all passionate about. But to do that, you need information. Often the clients have pilot plants and one of our key services is looking at that data and helping them, for example, to scale up a manufacturing process. What have you been able to do with this grant? What we've done with this grant is develop a working demo of a remote cloud database system that is affordable and allows us to help the client get that data. But more importantly then, we as a consultancy can, can look at that data and then help the client develop the product. So what we've got here is a browser accessible remote data system. So key there is as it's browser based, you don't need any software yeah. on your laptop. So I actually took my home heating system, which is linked to my company warehouse. So it's a little bit more complicated than the average home, but that makes it more interesting for the demo. What I've done is utilize the heating system, which if you think about it, is a process. So you've got a boiler, you've got pumps, you've got hot water flowing around pipes, you've got valves that divert it from radiators to tanks and whatever. And what we have is a collection of sensors that can transmit data. So what we can see here can be accessed from anywhere in the world. This data is live coming from my home system via an uplink. So the remote access means they're not having to travel, which saves yeah. them money, saves carbon emissions. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it's a big win and it's an enabler for us as a consultancy. So you're able to look at someone's process recommend sensors, help them with the software. This ability to show something that, of course you can have a bit of a play with it, you can get into it, you can see it work. Yeah. That must be making your sales job so much easier. It is, because what I was finding previously, Jamie, was that um, we typically interact with quite senior level in our clients. As people get more senior, they do tend to get a little bit more removed. And, and it's quite hard to convince say a vice president of manufacturing, why would it be a good idea if all his production data was in the cloud? They still wonder, you know, am I going to spend that money on, on that or something else? As a small company, it can be hard to engage with just documents and presentations, but having a working demo, I think has really been a, a breakthrough in, getting, in showing people what we are about or what the system will really deliver. And with the help of the grant, we bought some additional instrumentation to make the demo more interesting. And then the setup of the interface, the dashboard, if you like, that people use, which has to be user friendly. And part of the money went towards actual nitty gritty programming. How have you found that process in terms of applying for this grant? It was a good process because of some of the questions I got back that helped clarify what I was trying to deliver. So I would say that the idea I had in my mind at the point at which I started the process got refined during the process. Yeah, who would have thought your heating system is going to increase your business? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 